Hi everyone, uh, this is Sai Devan and welcome to my channel. Recently, many students of mine have suggested me to make a YouTube video about explaining the details of all the examinations, the notifications and the process of applying. So uh, I'm going to give it a try and I made a crystal clear video about Airport Authority of India, which is a brilliant opportunity for almost everyone who are in their final years of graduation and who have completed the graduation. It is a central government job. So in this video, you'll be getting all the details and I'll be making this video in the languages of English and Telugu. So if you know Airport Authority of India, Kosam, you know all details available on the Avani cover chesi. Make a crystal clear video cover chedam jargindi. In the loan, you know Airport Authority of India ki yalla apply cheyali. And the loan on the eligibility criteria anti, exam yalla on tundi, process anti. Starting point and ending point were ko prati point ni crystal clear ka cover chedam jargindi. So kindly watch the video, do not skip it, and do subscribe to my channel. Go through the video. So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as I mentioned earlier, I'll be explaining about the notification released by Airport Authority of India. And it is a brilliant opportunity for all the government job aspirants and for all the graduates. And in this video, I'll be explaining about what is the eligibility criteria for applying for the junior executives and managers posts given by the airport authority of India and what is the application process? What is the age limit? What is the salary? What kind of growth you will be having and the examination pattern as well. And I'll be giving you certain strategies for preparation of this examination too. So let us start. Before getting into the detailed notification, one must understand, one must understand clearly why you need to apply for this exam or why you need to apply for this post. So let us find certain points or certain reasons why this is a wonderful opportunity for all of you. Now, the first one is it is a central government job. We all know that we will be having a lot of security in central government jobs. And it is not just about the security, but you will be having a lot of respect as well. So for this job, you will be having a lot of security and respect as well. And the second important thing that we can vouch for while applying for this job is the pay, the pay or salary is really, really handsome. You will be getting a handsome salary of close to 10 to 12 lakhs per annum if you apply for the position of junior executive and uh, 16 to 18 lakhs per annum if you apply for the position of manager. So what is junior executive or who is manager? What kind of uh, things that we need to prepare? We will get there. We will get there. So Ikkada Miro Airport Authority of India ki apply chedan ki main reason same thang na? Central government job kabati meku security and respect ekku ga undadam jaruthundi and me pay scale kuda chala boundadam jaruthundi anamata. Meeru 10 to 12 lakh per annum junior executive ki apply chase net and 16 to 18 lakhs per annum manager ki manager post ki apply chase net laite. And the third reason is the growth. The growth is really, really good in this profile. You will be having a lot of growth. Uh, there's a great scope for growth as well. And the fourth one is, and the fourth important point is, you will be loving the job. You will be having a proud feeling that you're working for Airport Authority of India. So you will be having a lot of satisfaction too. So these are some of the reasons that we can vouch for while applying for this job. And now let us understand the eligibility criteria. Who can apply? Who all can apply? This is a question that most of the people have been asking me. Uh, in the past two to three weeks, ever ever apply to examination key. So first, let us understand what are the positions given. If we see there is, there are two positions for manager. If we see here, there are two positions for manager in fire services and manager technical. All right. So if you're applying for manager position, you need to have bachelor's a BE or BTEC degree in fire engineering, and you need to have five years of experience as well. All right. So for applying for the post of manager, whether it is technical or fire services, you need to have B or BTEC in fire engineering or mechanical engineering. And the same goes for technical as well. And you need to have five years of experience. So for all the freshers and who do not have five years of experience, this is not the post that you're going to apply for. 
but if you have five years of experience and if you've done your btech or be in mechanical engineering or the courses or the branches that was mentioned here you are ready to apply or you are eligible to apply now let us jump on to the freshers so every the final year learner or whoever is in final year of their bachelor's of technology or whoever is fine uh, in the final year of their degree or who have completed their bachelor's of technology or degree now me kosam you will be having five important position sorry three important posts you will be having three important posts the first one is junior executive for a traffic controller so deenini manam atc ani kuda anadam jarugutundi we call it as atc as well so junior ex executive a traffic controller here no experience is essential so all the freshers and who have completed their graduation and who do not have work experience everyday graduation complete chesi work experience lekunda unnaro vaallu kuda apply cheyachchu all right now what is the course criteria what is the course that you have to pursue first thing is bachelor's degree of 3 years in science all right so all the people who have done their bachelor's degree that is bachelor's of science and remember this is very important this is very important who have physics and mathematics as important subjects in their course so yavaraithe degree chesaro bachelor's of science chesaro mee course loni meeku physics and maths undali oka vela meeru 3 years degree chesina dantlo meeku physics and maths lenatlaite you are not eligible for this profile or post ila kaakunda meeru vere profile meeku vere course chesina kuda meer apply cheyachchu so bachelor's degree in engineering in any discipline so all the btech candidates all the btech candidates with any discipline so civil engineering kaani mechanical engineering kaani ledu anukunnatlaite cse kaani triple e kaani it kaani whatever the discipline is it doesn't matter until and unless you have studied mathematics and physics in your engineering most of the btech students they have done physics and math they have studied mathematics and physics in their engineering especially in first year gurutundi kada m1 m2 m3 and physics so our subjects me chadivinatlaite meeru eligible all right so for this profile i am repeating it one more time meeku clear ga ardham avadaniki two branches nunchi meer apply cheyachchu ledha two streams nunchi meer apply cheyachchu first entante meer degree chesinatlaite meer bsc degree chesinatlaite andulone meer physics maths chadivi undali first one లేకుండా మీరు డిగ్రీ కాకుండా బ్యాచులర్స్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ చేసినట్లయితే మీరు అప్లై చేయొచ్చు ఆల్ ద బీటెక్ క్యాండిడేట్స్ మీరు అప్లై చేయొచ్చు బట్ దీనికి ఉన్న ఒకే ఒక కండిషన్ ఏంటంటే మీరు ఏ కోర్స్ చేసినా కూడా యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ స్టడీడ్ ఫిజిక్స్ యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ స్టడీడ్ ఫిజిక్స్ అండ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ స్టడీడ్ ఫిజిక్స్ అండ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఇన్ యువర్ గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ దిస్ ఇస్ వన్ థింగ్ యూ నీడ్ టు కీప్ ఇన్ మైండ్ ఆల్ రైట్ నౌ హౌ మెనీ vacancies are there there are totally 264 vacancies and the loni manam reservation paranga 1074 uh, open category ews ki 26 72 for obc sc ki 40 and st ki 19 undadam jarigindi what is the examination pattern i'll be explaining in the coming slides all right now we have talked about a traffic controller now another position that you can apply for is junior executive for airport operations junior executive for airport operations deeniki eligibility criteria enti deeniki eligibility criteria vachesi you must have a graduation in science and mba of 2 years duration understand this point clearly you should have a graduation in science and you need to have 2 years of mba if not if you do not have graduation in science and you are not an mba candidate you did not complete your mba as of now if you have bachelor's degree in engineering you can apply so whoever has done btech whoever has done btech they are eligible to apply for this post of junior executive in airport operations all right so i am repeating it one more time clearly understand yavaraithe graduate two year uh, graduate in science ie two years mba program chesaro vaallu apply cheyachchu ledu anukunnatlaite evaraithe btech chesaro vaallu apply cheyachchu okay now here also no experience is needed no experience is needed 
and these are the number of vacancies. So this picture is taken directly from the notification of Airport Authority of India. I'm explaining this from the official notification so that you won't be having any doubts. Clear? So these are the number of vacancies. Manam choose ko natlaite total 83 vacancies unnai. And for uh, unreserved 35, for EWS 8 vacancies, OBC 21, SC 14 and ST 5. Okay. Now next, another important profile. This is especially for mechanical engineers and, and people who have done their engineering in automobile. So junior executive technical post. Here the eligibility criteria, the qualification that you need to have is B.Tech degree in mechanical or automobile. And for this also, there's no experience needed. There's no experience needed. And here if you see, all the mechanical engineers, there are uh, hundreds of my students who have done their engineering in mecha uh, mechanical engineering and this is a brilliant opportunity for you. Of course, the vacancies are less, but if you prepare well, you will land yourself in one of the finest jobs that is present in India. Okay, so this is the eligibility criteria. Now I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to keep it very simple. First eligibility criteria that you need to have, first eligibility criteria that you need to have is BTEC. For all the BTEC candidates, all the BTEC candidates can apply for this. Final year loan, who is going to complete their, uh, who are in the final semester and people who have completed their BTEC, they are eligible for the first, for the positions of air traffic controller and junior executive of airport operations. So, Yavarite BTEC Chesaro, Walu Airport Traffic Controller Profile Key and Airport Operation Profile Key eligible. And what is the designation? Junior Executive. And people who have done their Bachelor's of Science, or we call it as degree, who have done their degree, they are eligible for ATC. But the only condition is you must have studied physics and mathematics you must have studied physics and mathematics in your degree okay physics and mathematics in your degree this is one point that you need to keep in mind and uh, the other qualification for technical post for technical post for technical post you need to do your btech in automobile engineering or mechanical engineering and you can apply for airport operations profile or post if you have graduation in science and you have done two years of MBA. So this is the minimum qualification, the posts that are available, how much experience you need and number of vacancies that you have. Now let us move forward. What will be the age limit? The age limit for manager, the age limit for the post of manager is the maximum of 32 years as of 30-11-2020. And for the people who are applying for junior executive, the maximum age you need to have is 27 years as of 30 11 2020. So November 30 2020 ki meeku maximum age and 27 years for junior executive and manager ki maximum age which is 32 years. And according to the reservation policy of India, uh, the reserve candidates will be having upper age limit as well so age relaxation is also in the picture now what are the important dates when can i apply for the exam when the exam will be conducted all these details we will discuss now so the applications will be open from 15th december 2020 so 15th december 2020 when application open you can apply on the aai portal official portal and the last date for applying online is 14th January 2021. So roughly you have one month of time, but do not uh, procrastinate. Do not think that I will apply at the later date. If you are eligible for the profile, apply as soon as possible so that you won't be having last minute rushes or issues. And now comes the most important part. What is the salary? What kind of remuneration you will be getting? So the remuneration for manager profile is 60,000 to 1 lakh 80,000. As I've, all, as I've already mentioned in the prior slide, so the package varies from 16 to 18 lakhs for manager and for junior executive, the package varies from 
10 to 12 lakhs very handsome salary very handsome salary meeku training time lone different salary ivadam jarugutundi but once your training is done you will be getting a very handsome salary so here we have discussed about important dates age limit eppudu apply cheyali when will be the exam conducted the dates are not out so dates inka release cheyaledu so here it is clearly given will be announced on airport authority of india website okay so when the dates are out i'll be making one more video about when the examination will be conducted so i hope everything is clear till this point now let us understand what is the examination pattern ye vidhanga manam examination pattern untundi what is the examination pattern for this uh, airport authority of india profile whatever notification that has come so in this we will be having two papers in this we will be having two papers examination pattern in this we will be having two papers so paper 1 paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 and paper 2 so in paper 1 the examination will be for 60 marks the paper 1 will be for 60 marks and paper 2 also will be for 60 marks one brilliant thing about this examination is there is no negative marking there is no negative marking for this examination no negative marking so you can answer all the questions yes you got it right mir answers anni questions annitki meeru answers petteyachu no negative marking for this exam so in paper 1 what are the subjects that we need to prepare in paper 1 there are four important subjects that you need to learn the first one is quantitative aptitude quantitative aptitude the second one is reasoning third one is competitive english or general english as we say so all the grammar part competitive english or general english and the fourth one is gk general knowledge so how many marks the each subject will carry how many marks each subject will carry quantitative aptitude will be for 15 questions and 15 marks reasoning 15 questions 15 marks competitive english is for 20 questions 20 marks and gk is for 10 questions 10 marks so all together how many marks do we have 60 marks for paper 1 now what will be the difficulty of this examination friends the difficulty of the examination will be easy to moderate if you prepare these concept perfectly if you prepare the concepts of quantitative aptitude reasoning competitive english and general knowledge perfectly you will be scoring more than 55 marks if your basics and fundamentals are clear the examination pattern right from previous papers if you go see previous papers you will be finding the examination pattern or the examination level of difficulty to be easy to moderate you will find few difficult questions in paper 1 in paper 1 what will be paper 2 so here comes the little difficult part so right now we have understood that quantitative aptitude reasoning competitive english gk are there and there is no negative marking so i will be able to answer all the questions nen anni answers anni questions ki answers pettestanu it will be easy ani anukundam but paper 2 becomes little difficult paper 2 becomes little difficult so what are the aspects that we need to cover in paper 2 what are the subjects that we have so in paper 2 we have physics in paper 2 we have physics and mathematics yes now most of you people will be thinking that are baba maths ah malli na nene chaala kashtapadi m1 clear chesan btech lo malli maths chadam antare enti ayya baba na valla kaadu ramachandra prabhu ana oka kind of feeling meeku vachestundi but trust me if you want to get a job where you are earning 1 lakh per month you need to have the skill set of that package that you are getting so i won't say this examination will be difficult but meer correct ga prepare ainatlaite meer easy ga ee exam ni crack cheyachu with proper planning with proper strategies and with proper understanding i sure that you will be able to clear this examination now in physics the physics will be for 30 marks physics will be for 30 marks and number of questions will be 
okay and similarly in mathematics it will be for 30 marks and number of questions will be 30 clear so here how many papers do we have we have two papers paper one and paper two so in paper one we have 60 marks what are the subjects that we will be having quantitative aptitude reasoning competitive english gk and in paper two what are the subjects that we are having physics physics and mathematics all the questions will be mcqs all the questions will be mcqs so here we have understood the pattern of the examination now sir how can i prepare physics and mathematics what is the strategy what is the strategy that i need to follow to prepare for physics and mathematics so uh, in physics if you have the basics like if you follow the ncrt books ncrt books of 11th and 12th standard whatever the physics whatever the science especially physics that you've studied in 11th and 12th it will be the syllabus that will be more than enough if you conceptually read the ncrt books of 11th and 12th standards you will be good to go whereas in mathematics you need to study whatever you've studied in btech that is m1 m2 and m3 now sir am i supposed to read everything am i supposed to get 120 out of 120 no so uh, from previous years cutoff we can uh, understand that from previous years cutoff we can understand that the cutoff varied from 90 to 95 and for another post it touched 95 to one, uh, 100 all right so if you if your basics are right if you understand the non technical part that is quantitative aptitude reasoning competitive english and gk if your basics are right and if your concepts are good there are high chances that you will be scoring more than 55 plus in paper one and in paper two what you need to do is you need to keep your fundamentals right you have a lot of time the examination might be conducted uh, might be conducted in the months of march or april because aai generally gives a lot of time from notification period to examination period so there is a good time frame that you can prepare for so in the coming videos i'll try to make a strategy for physics and mathematics too uh, i have my own telegram channel called devan's classes the link will be shared in the description kindly join the telegram channel where i'll be sharing the free material for physics mathematics and free material for quantitative aptitude reasoning competitive english and general knowledge as well so here if we see we have understood the pattern of the examination so physics you need to study 11th and 12th standard of uh, ncrt books or whatever the books that you've studied in your uh, 11th and 12th and for mathematics whatever the math that you've studied in your graduation that is m1 m2 m3 the syllabus for physics and mathematics will be discussed in detail in the coming videos i'll be making a special video for the syllabus of physics and mathematics too if you have any questions kindly drop a comment and kindly ask i'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions so uh, yes sir i have completed level one Nenu paper one paper two examination rasano i got qualified you prepared really well let's say you got qualified what is the next step what is the next step dini tarvata enti process maaku job ichestara ante once you completed your written examination the next step will be the next step will be document verification the next step will be document verification document verification what do you mean by document verification here all your documents will be verified your mark lists your uh, aadhar card pan card whatever the proofs that you have me documents are neatly verify cheyadam jarugutundi and apart from that you will also be having a voice test you will also be having a voice test what is voice test so they will check your pronunciation they will check your voice modulation how well you are pronouncing things and how well you are modulating your voice how bold is your voice so there will be a voice test too i'll be uh, i'll making a video for voice test as well in the coming times and apart from this there's a probability of conducting an interview too there's a probability of conducting an interview too so last year there was there was no interview there was only voice test but the process can be changed we do not know whether the process will be changed or not but we need to be prepared for the interview as well for this 
for voice test and for interview you need to have soft skills you need to develop your soft skills a lot where i will be training students and soft skills and aptitude reasoning competitive english and gk2 all right so these are some of the details that we need to understand before applying for the airport authority of india whether the post is air traffic controller or junior junior executive of airport operations of a technical post of a manager post or uh, for any other post so i hope i have cleared all of your doubts and queries now i'm going to summarize all the points one more time so that you won't forget so in order to apply for the airport authority of india post such as junior executive uh, or for air, air traffic controller or uh, technical post of a manager post you need to have a qualification of bachelor's of technology or bsc where you need to have physics and mathematics as, ma as mandatory subjects so mir physics mathematics meeku mandatory subjects ga undali me btech lo kaani graduation lo kaani meer manager post ki apply chese tatta ite meeku 5 years of experience undali ledu meer air traffic controller post ki ledu anukunnatlaite technical post ki airport operations post ki apply chese tatta ite meeku experience undalsina avasaram ledu but mee qualification loni మీరు బీటెక్ కానీ డిగ్రీ కానీ చేసి ఉండాలి అందులో ఫిజిక్స్ అండ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఉండాలి ఆల్ రైట్ సో ఓపెనింగ్ అప్లికేషన్ డిసెంబర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ నుంచి స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది అండ్ లాస్ట్ డేట్ ఫర్ అప్లికేషన్ ఇస్ ఫోర్టీన్త్ ఆఫ్ జనవరి అండ్ అప్లై చేయాల్సిన ప్రాసెస్ ఐ బి మేకింగ్ వన్ మోర్ వీడియో అప్లై చేయాల్సిన ప్రాసెస్ కి వన్స్ ద పోర్టల్ ఇస్ ఓపెన్ ఐ బి మేకింగ్ వన్ మోర్ వీడియో ఫర్ ది అప్లికేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ examination pattern maniki two important levels untai written examination and document verification voice test and if possible interview too so paper 1 written examination lo maniki two papers untai paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is written examination daniki unna subjects entante quantitative aptitude reasoning competitive english and gk and paper 2 lo nu undalsinavi physics and mathematics each 30 30 marks there is no negative marking so meer uh, proper ga prepare ayi meer correct ga exam rasinatlaite there are high chances of uh, clearing this examination so wonderful opportunity miss cheskokandi all the very best meeku emaina doubts unnatlaite kindly ask it in the comment box meer vere deni gurinchi edaina telusukovali anukunna kuda kindly drop it in the comment box so that i'll be making one one more video for it thank you so much please do subscribe to my channel for watching more videos of this i'll be dropping certain videos like preparation strategies for competitive english soft skills other subjects as well thank you so much bye bye